Hello, this is Oscillator Sync. Welcome to another video where we're looking at some programming tricks that we can use on the Korg monologue. So one of the uh, objections that you sometimes see leveled at the monologue is that we've got quite a limited envelope gen generator up here. We've only got an attack and a decay and it can only be arranged in certain ways. It can only be sent to a limited subset of parameters. Now, personally, I'm a big believer that these sort of restrictions actually help with creativity, both in terms of um, cutting down options so that you spend more time creating and less time trying stuff out, and also because it leads to you trying to look for novel workarounds, which can lead to new sounds. But I have to admit, sometimes I do find myself missing that uh, flexibility that maybe a second envelope generator would bring. But we do kind of have a pseudo second envelope generator on the monologue. And we find it in the LFO. So we all know what the LFO um, does usually, uh, and that is that it will oscillate a parameter at a lower frequency, although we can go audio range on the monologue. Uh, and so we can do something like this if we apply it to the pitch. So we can hear there that the pitch parameter is being altered by the LFO and it's happening uh, cyclically. That is, once the LFO gets to the end of its waveform, it's starting its waveform again. If we move into one-shot mode, however, that behavior changes a little bit. So rather than altering the parameter cyclically, what's happening instead is we are going through the waveform once and then finishing. And that's kind of like what an envelope generator does. We are, again, somewhat limited in the types of envelope generators that we have here, though. Um, so if we set our LFO onto uh, sawtooth mode, what we get here is the equivalent of an envelope generator with an instant attack and a decay that we can modify by changing the rate. Now, the way that the rate works here is a little bit counterintuitive compared to a normal envelope generator. Usually with our decay knob, if we turn our decay knob up, we expect the decay to last longer. But here we're talking about the rate with which it takes place. So actually, if we want a shorter decay, we turn our rate up instead. So sawtooth, instant onset, and then a variable decay. Our triangle wave gives us a uh, envelope generator essentially where the attack and the decay are coupled. That is to say, if we have a fast attack, we also have a fast decay. Or if we have a slow attack, we also have a slow decay. Uh, the square wave is kind of not really like um, an envelope generator that you'd have anywhere else, I guess. Uh, here, what we have is an instant onset, a hold time, which is defined by the rate, and then an instant release or decay, depending on how you want to look at it. Or faster. Okay, so what sort of things can we do? Uh, well, let's start with this um, square wave, because I actually quite like this one, because um, you don't tend to do this sort of thing with um, envelope generators. So if we um, find a nice sort of octave interval by changing the intensity, at an octave, and we turn the rate up, we kind of get this Kind of plink at the start of the note, which is quite quite pleasant. And we might couple that with um, maybe a filter cut off happening on, on the envelope generator.
Now already, what we've got here are two, or one plus a pseudo envelope generator, changing two different parameters, which you can't do using just the envelope generator. So that's really cool. Okay, let's try something else. Um, let's open up our filter again for the moment. So one of the things that uh, the monologue does really well is it's sync sounds. So if we turn up VCO2, turn this off for the moment as well. Uh, and usually what you do with the um, sync sounds is that we are going to affect pitch two to get that classic sort of. We turn off VCO one just to emphasize it. Bring a little bit of VCO one back in. Just change the pitch to accent. Classic sync sounds. Sounds great. But if I want to affect the overall sort of harmonic content here using the filter, I've kind of only got really the options to do it statically. I can either have the filter open or I could shut it off. But I can't easily do that um, sort of classic open at the start and, and tail off with the uh, envelope generator because I'm using that to do my um, sync sound. But if I have my, L my LFO in one shot mode and I go over to uh, probably the um, sawtooth is most applicable and we send that over to the cutoff. I'm gonna rate that works for us. the option to um, uh, have that filter cutoff happening as well as our sync sound, which is great. Good news. Uh, what's that sound like with the triangle instead? That's cool. Bit of resonance. Maybe change our EG. So uh, next time someone tells you that the monologue is limited because it only has one envelope generator, you kind of look at them wryly and think to yourself, well, one and a half probably. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, if that was useful, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. Uh, and also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again soon.